There's no way I just did that, is there? There's no way. Hi y'all, Savannah here. I recently made my son a Hogwarts robe for his upcoming birthday party and I did it with absolutely no pattern. So I wanted to show you the process that I went through in order to make this. It was a process, that's to be sure. I made a lot of mistakes and I had to undo a lot of things. So I wanna help you avoid the things that I did that made this a lot harder than it needs to be for you. But if you are interested to see how to make a Hogwarts robe without a pattern for you or your children, stay tuned and we'll get right into that. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to make a Hogwarts robe for my son. I went to the thrift store a couple of months ago and I just happened to see this fabric in one of their bins that they were selling for only a dollar. At the time, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it, but I mean, this is the perfect fabric for uh, a robe. So I'm definitely going to use this. I have plenty of it, I believe, to make him a robe. And then my son was also sorted into the Ravenclaw house, which means I'm going to use a blue liner on his robe to make him an official Ravenclaw. So I don't have my son with me right now. He's out to playing and doesn't want to come in to be measured. So I am actually going to just use existing clothes of his. I just got a long sleeve shirt to kind of get an idea of how long I want the arms to be as well as the general size. And then I also got a pair of pants, again, just to give me an idea about how long I want the length of the robe to be. So I'm gonna use these to help me with my pattern. I've never made a robe before, so wish me luck. Okay, so I just set my uh, clothes onto the fabric. Now I folded it right along here. This is a fold and then you can see, maybe not, but it ends about this part right here. So I just wanted to make sure that I had enough space to have the length of sleeve that I wanted. And then I am just trying to get an idea about how long I want it. Now, uh, I was watching the tutorial on YouTube and she basically said that these robes are just like a T shape. So all I'm gonna do is kind of just get the idea of the size. And I'm just gonna measure out the arm I'm gonna make it a little bit wider because it's a robe and then I'm just gonna kind of do like a straight down, slightly angled out bottom part for the, uh, I don't know what this is called, the dress part of the robe, I suppose. And then I've, uh, when I'm done putting that out, I'm gonna use that as a pattern for the other part of the robe. So we have the front part and then the back part of the robe that we're gonna make. So um, let's get in started on that. So I have a, just a ruler, So I'm going to do 24 inch length for the arms, 46 inch length for the length, uh, length and then 10 inches of the width. Uh, maybe now at the bottom I'll flare it out a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> so my son's a size like 8, between 8 and 10. So just in case you're wondering what these measurements are. But of course you can just use clothes or your children to measure for them. So let's just get started. <clears throat> Okay, so I said I was going to do the 46 inches, I believe is what I said, going down, and I need to flare it out a little bit. So what I think what we're going to do is, yeah, I need to flare it out. <laughs> um, so from here to here is 10 inches. So down here, around my 46 inch mark, which would be like right around, I don't mind me not doing very good measurements, but right around here there's about 46 inches so i need to have this flare out just a little bit so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to measure about 12 maybe even 13 inches out maybe even 14. i don't know is that too much i don't know let's try 14. i think that'll be good so we'll see Okay, so this is the general shape of what I have, all right? So I just have like a very square top part here and then coming down. So this is 24 inches across here. I came down 12 inches. I had 
went from the width from here to here is 10 inches. And down at the very bottom, I made that width 14 inches down here. And then I just connected those two points there. So this is my shape. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out and see how it looks. So this looks like what it's looking like right now. Okay, so I don't have enough fabric to do like a fully lined robe. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to line the front part of the robe and for the sleeves to kind of save fabric, I'm just gonna cut out a strip of blue and I'm just gonna sew those into the uh, seams in the sleeves so that I don't have to do the entire sleeve to, to line it. Uh, the only problem I'm having right now is my fabric, because of the way I cut it for a different project, is not long enough for my particular rope that I made. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do down there. And I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to cut out, again, another strip of fabric and add it. And I'll have a little seam inside, but again, I'm not selling this. I'm just making it for my son for something fun, so I'm not too concerned with it. But all I'm going to do to kind of keep from accidentally cutting this sleeve portion out is I'm going to, sorry, I don't know if you can see that. I am just folding this over and lining it up here. And I'm just gonna pin this down and cut it out. So let's do that. All right, so again, all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna cut down the center seam and make it two parts. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna see how much extra fabric I need, give myself an extra half an inch for the seam allowance, and just cut out a couple pieces for that. Let's see this. Might be a good little section to cut from. There's no way I just did that, is there? There's no way. Oh my god. Alright you guys, you won't believe what I did. So, in order to try to get the pieces that I needed to add more length to the bottom of my um, liner. I just really, without paying attention, <laughs> I grabbed one of my liner pieces and totally just chopped it to pieces. And now I'm like struggling to have enough fabric to try to cut another liner piece out. And I don't know if I'm gonna have enough for my hood. <laughs> like, how do you do that? <laughs> I don't know how I did that. So I'm trying to like get another piece cut out for my liner and I'm hoping that this that's left over is going to be enough for my hood. Oh my gosh, that was, ah. okay. So let's cut this out. And then I need to also use scrap and not my liner piece. I need to make the uh, sleeve. So I'm gonna make this partially lined here. So I wanna make sure that it's long enough and wide enough, but I'm gonna need four of those because I'm gonna need it for the front and the back, otherwise it'll look kind of funny, right? Okay, so here's one of my sleeves. And again, I'm gonna have to like hem part of this to kind of keep the raw edges from being a thing, but uh, it probably would be easier to line it if it was like a fully lined one, but it does take a lot more fabric. Okay, so because I didn't have very much fabric left since I made that mistake, I, um, I'm trying to do like a hood shape and I looked at a tutorial on YouTube, but I'm cutting the size down by four inches. So the tutorial was for an adult size rope, so I'm hoping that it's not gonna affect it too much. So I'm gonna show you what I did. So I did a line across the top here that was 19 inches across. And then from there to here was 10 inches. 
and then from here to here is six and a half inches and then I just connected the two lines which ended up being about 15 inches. And now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this out on this fabric and the black fabric as well and then I think I'll have all my pieces and we'll be ready to sew. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just looking at where my seams going to be because this part here is not going to be sewn into my actual uh, main fabric since it's going into the sleeve. I'm not going to actually um, be able to leave this as a raw edge. So I'm just going to mark off where this is and I'm going to just do a quick little zigzag stitch right here along this blue fabric to keep it from fraying. Um, but you're not really going to see it on the inside so I'm not going to do any like hemming, just nothing fancy. So I'm just going to do a quick zigzag stitch along here up to this line that I just drew and then I'm going to attach it. Okay so you can see here this is where I did the zigzag stitch and it's on the opposite side of where my neckline is and now I'm just going to go ahead and attach this to my main fabric. Okay so this is on top of the main fabric and all I'm going to do is I'm going to sew, um, sorry I'm going to sew right here along the top edge by the sleeve around the neckline and then all the way down to the bottom here. Okay, so I have it sewn together. Um, you can see I flipped it right side out. And so since these are kind of fluffing out a little bit, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna top stitch right along those same edges that I just stitched uh, just to keep those nice and flat and pressed together like more like this and less like that. So that's the next step. Okay, you guys, so you know how I totally destroyed one of my lining pieces of this blue fabric and accidentally cut off uh, those little rectangular strips that I was going to add to the bottom of this to make it longer so that it would meet up the bottom of my uh, actual main fabric. Yeah, well, I tried this on, well, tried it on, I measured it against my son to see how the length was looking for him and the exact spot like literally the exact spot where this seam is is about where i need to adjust the length and actually need to get rid of that much length so not only did i just completely destroy a panel i did it for absolutely no reason and gave myself just a whole bunch of extra work so that's great <laughs> right all right anyway but Back to the actual sewing of this. I originally had sewn my, this is my shoulder and sleeve here. I sewed it together, the blue and the um, black together, but I actually went ahead and seam ripped it because I didn't want to lose any seam allowance and I'm going to, um, you know, sew the back piece to this Part, so I figured that'd be a better idea just to go ahead and seam rip it and sew it to the raw edges instead. So if you want to make this on yours, on your own as well, that might be something just to consider not to bother even uh, sewing that little area to save yourself a little bit of time and trouble. But what I do want to do now though is I'm going to put uh, my front panels of my robe and I'm going to attach it to my back panels. So that's the next step. All right, so all I'm doing now is I'm putting my robe pieces right sides together and I'm just going to line up my arms, line up my neckline, and my side pieces here. So once I get all of that adjusted and lined up, I'm going to sew it and where I'm going to sew it is going to be along my shoulder seam and then also along the side seam here. So I'm gonna do that for both sides of my front panels. I'm gonna attach them to my back panels. So that's where we're at right now. Okay, so I went ahead and sewed both of my front lapels, I guess, I don't know what they're called, panels onto my back. And I am just going to hem it now. And then after that, I'm gonna figure out what to do about my little sleeve um, cuff that I'm gonna put inside and then I will be working on the hood. So we're getting there a little by little. Hello, so this is like day 6,722 on trying to make this robe for my son. And it's one of those things where like, you just have problems, 
for like no real reason other than you make silly mistakes or you just do things that didn't need to be done. And it's like the series of unfortunate events, Rope Virgin. It has been a struggle making this and I'm still in the process of it. So like for this hood, now, you know when you see like tutorials and they kind of give you like a general idea of like, okay, this is what it looks like and they'll give you like really detailed things like this is how you should cut it out, this is the, the size of it. But then they don't really show you or tell you um, like where to sew it or how to sew it exactly and you've never done it before. <laughs> so you're like, oh, I think I can figure it out. I got a good idea, right? And then you sew it and then you're like, oh, I don't think that's right. And then you like, take it apart and then you sew it a different way and then you're like, I still don't think that's right. And then you take it apart and then you're just trying to figure it out, looking at other tutorials and you try to figure out answers, but none of their hoods look like yours. So, and, then, and then you're just lost. So that's where I am. Um, so, you know, I've had a couple of issues with making my robe. The hood is just one of those. Another one is I was sewing my front panels to my back part of my robe and I just out of curiosity decided to, to line one of the front panels and attach it to my back and then line the second panel to attach to my back. But the problem with that was is that when I was checking to see which side I needed to, um, to sew it on since it's so hard to tell from the front to the back or the right side to the wrong side of the fabric on these uh, particular fabrics that I'm using. I sewed it backwards. So I had two like right sides of my robe and no left side. And this is like, I mean, I'm seriously, I sewed the entire thing together and I top stitched it. And I even had a little wand pocket that was on the wrong side of the fabric. So I had to like, just seam rip everything and then re-sew it back on and then attach it to the front and then yeah so it's um that's why i'm doing this video so all of these things that happen to me I, they're like mistakes little mistakes but maybe they're things that you can learn from for yourself and i hope that the tutorial is a little bit comprehensive so you can actually use it to make something from it um and it's not like this is how i did it and you kind of like don't know what you could do um let's get into this hood all right so we uh are not sure what we're doing hmm. let me put this down a little bit so we can see where we're at all right so this is how i originally sewed it right i um i sewed it along this edge here and then i sewed it along the longer edge down here so when i went to go put this on to kind of get an idea of how it would Attached to my actual robe, I put it on. I started to steam rip it, so you know, I apologize. But here, it kind of gave me this like Peter Pan esque <laughs> feeling to it, and um, yeah, this I don't think is like the look that we're going for for a Harry Potter robe. Yeah, no, like I don't think this is it. So I decided to try sewing it a different way. And I kind of got something more like a pointier hat. I don't know if this is what we're going for either, but when you like put it on, if I can put it on, it's like <laughs> this. I don't know what's going on. And this is like I said for a kid's robe, so like, you know, my head's a lot bigger than the kids, but um, this is where we're at. So what I think I'm going to do, like, if I attach it here, right, to the robe, and it's going to be lined, it probably won't actually be a usable hood, but it'll have that look to it, um, a little bit more of what we're looking for. So let me show you how I sew with this. I'm going to sew the blue one the same way, and then I'm going to line it. Um, and it's probably not, like I said, the most uh, amazing hood or whatever, but it's gonna be what I do for this particular project so I don't have any more fabric to like recut out anything. So, um, here, let me show you. Okay, so here is this, and so I went ahead and I sewed it 
along the long side, the same as the blue one, but I did it along this side as well. And this part here, which I originally thought was my center seam, I left open. And so when I flip it inside out, like I just saw, I'm not gonna do it all the way, but here, um, you'll see this part here kind of has like a, a V shape to it. And then this is the other, um, the other edge that's not sewn. So what I think I'm going to do when I attach it is I'm going to just attach this part here to my robe. And this here will be where my liner will get sewn to. So I'll attach my lining there. I'll go all the way around and then we'll sew this to the actual robe that way. So um, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but it's trial and error at this point. We're figuring it out together and I still have to do this and I have to do my other sleeve lining. And after that, I think that'll be it and we'll be ready to go. Oh. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and sewed it the way I said I was going to. And now I'm attaching the liner to the outside piece. There is another way of doing this, but I just felt like the simplest way was just to kind of fold under the raw edges and then I'm just gonna top stitch around this edge. And I'm gonna do it from here all the way to here and then this little area is where I'm going to attach it to my robe. Okay, you guys, and this is how it turned out. Now I'm modeling this just because I don't wanna have any issues with my son being on YouTube. And so it's a little bit short on my sleeves, but I think it turned out even with all of the trouble that I had making it. I went ahead and made a little Ravenclaw patch. I put in a wand pocket in the inside and I just had a lot of fun with it. Uh, after it was all done. <laughs> so if you want to make a robe like this for yourself, I would suggest finding a different hood tutorial just to make it not look so funny, but overall it turned out really well. All right, you guys, if you like these types of videos, make sure to subscribe, leave me a like or comment below. I try to make two videos a week.